Uh, really excited. Um, it's going to be probably even more exciting depending on what the weather can do. Um, but obviously it's always great being with the home crowd and um, yeah, through a city centre it's great because obviously more people are out and about. So yeah, it'll be, I'm excited. More of a motivational boost after a falling ill whilst in Madrid before the European Champs. So um, going into that race, I only had like a week, a week's worth of training and 11, 12 days off. So um, it was more of a mo motivational boost to just to kind of see what, see what and where I am at, the, at, that, at that time. Um, and then hopefully after a good few weeks, a bit more consistent training going into Swansea, hopefully I pushed on a little bit more. So got back what I lost. Yeah, I mean, you definitely notice the difference, um, certainly just within the British squad, um, just traveling around, it's, it can, you can tell like the professionalism changes as well. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a great, great thing to be a part of. It is quite real rewarding, um, certainly when those guys can take quite a lot from you, um, whatever sort of disability impairment they've got, and it's, obviously they can relate to you and always come and ask you questions about how did you get, how did you do this, how do you do that, looking at equipment that you use that they, they might not have seen before, um, different ways of doing things, so it's always great to be able to almost pass on what I've learned from others who have taught me. Um, and I think it's just great for the sport anyway, just to showcase it, um, as we don't really get many opportunities to almost showcase it within the UK, within big popular cities. So. I think that's a great opportunity and I still think there's a lot more that we can do as well so um, it's a great start and um, yeah just hopefully more people can take part in the sport and give it a go. So I had quite a strange journey coming into triathlon, um, I had no background in either three disciplines of the sport, bar swimming which I'd done through school from very young age kind of all the way through, do swimming galas, water polo and stuff like that but nothing ever, ever, ever serious so um, coming into this, it was very new, just going straight into a handbike, into a race chair and actually trying to swim properly for a longer period of time. It's, it was all um, quite overwhelming at, at the start because it's everything's new to me um, and I've not been in that position to have excelled at one to then come into the sport and be good at one thing. I've had to learn everything all at once and try and develop everything, all three disciplines all at once, which has been tough at times. Um, and you like sometimes like to think you'd be further on than you are, but you've got to remember that I've only been doing the sport for five years, and I've never had any background in either three. So um, I'm quite pleased with my journey, and I know I've still got a long way to go. And yeah, just hopefully, kind of eventually, I can be up there with those guys that are competing at the best, best level of uh, the PTWC category. My key goal at the moment is just to qualify for Paris and be on the start line and then once I'm on that start line I want to soak it up and I want to enjoy the moment and that's kind of my goal at the moment and then pushing on hopefully the, the following four years later um, the next cycle into going into LA where I'd like to think I'd be in more of a um, competitive position to be competing for medals so it's very much just kind of building those blocks and then hopefully leading up to LA where I can hopefully bring home some metal. World Triathlon Paris Series Swansea is here. Follow all the action on British Triathlon's social media.